Hi guys, this is going to be for Aquarius. Let's see, what is the messages, please, spirit guides, for my Aquarius people? Oh yeah, I do offer um, free, or not free, I'm sorry. They are actually $20, but um, personal readings. So the information for that is in the description box below. You can just email me. Just for one question. All right, so let's see. What are the messages for Aquarius people? Spirit guides. What are the messages for Aquarius people? Standing in your power. I feel that lately. So, anything that is important to you guys when it comes to your connections, your relationships, make sure you are not budging on your standards, the things that matter most to you, okay? You stand firm in that. And you are a fixed sign, so it's usually... Um, it comes naturally for you guys to remain fixed <laughs> in something and what you want. Um, okay. Oh, wow. Major career success. Damn. Are some of you making money moves? <laughs> So, um, it looks like if that's going to be a good, you're going to have some luck here. So focus on your money, focus on your coins, get that together. Um, if there's any projects or deals you have going on, put your energy into that right now because like, obviously the potential is here for success right now. So you're going to want to grab on and hold, um, grab on. <laughs> and take advantage of those opportunities right so keeping my options open some of you may might be playing the field seeing what's out there dating around this could also be a um a like message from the universe telling you to keep your options open so if you've met someone new who you're excited about Maybe just like play the fields a little bit because you know how sometimes you too quickly put all in your, your eggs in one basket and you think like, oh, this person is exciting and then you just, that's it. You're like, oh, that's who I want. And then you get to know them more and you're like, oh wait, that's not really what I want. <laughs> so just keep your options open because... You might be someone better, I guess, like, or you might just, yeah, realize that you don't want them as much as you thought you did. Okay, so we have very arrogant, too much pride and ego. Some of you could be acting this way yourself, or you could be um, meeting someone else who is this way, so watch out for that behavior, that energy, definitely don't want to feed into that. Uh, yeah, that, that might be why you want to keep your options open because you might be coming across somebody who's just too arrogant, too into themselves. They're living their life through their ego, which is such like, ugh, ugly behavior. I hate that energy. Okay. And then we have, I don't want this relationship anymore. Yeah. So there's someone here that you might end up realizing like oh you're not into them like you thought you were okay and then we have holding on to past grudges and fights from the past resentment okay so you're gonna want to be careful of that energy too there's some sort of stuck stagnant energy here i don't know if it has to deal with this person maybe that's why you're attracting them into your life but you want to be careful there's something like, um, there's like a know-it-all energy here, too. Um, 
Like you think you know more than them or they think they know more than you. But we're all mirrors. So remember that when you meet someone who comes into your life that you feel that way about, maybe um, don't just point the finger at them because they might be reflecting back energies that you carry. So you want to be careful with that. All right. So let's get some tarot. So we have the Nine of Cups. Be careful with drinking too much, partying too much. Um, but, you know, push your focus back to your manifestations, your wishes, your dreams. What you want to ask of the universe to happen in your life. Because you need to right now. You need to focus on that. Let's see. What else for Aquarius, please? Spirit guides. Oh, it's starting to rain. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's kind of nice. Relaxing. Alright. What else for Aquarius people, please? Oh my god. Nothing is wanting to come out. Some of you could be doing the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, but this queen, whoops, <laughs> this queen is a bad bitch, okay, she goes after what she wants, she knows who she is, she knows what she wants, she's passionate, feisty, fiery, she doesn't care what people think, she's sexy, she attracts a lot of attention everywhere she goes. She is masculine, though. Fire sign is masculine. So, or if you're a male Aquarius watching this, you could have just recently come across somebody who embodies this energy, to be interested in them. Um, but I'm being drawn back to this card of very arrogant, too much pride and ego. So, if this is this person who you just met, are they like this? Like they think they're the shit? Or they think they're that bitch? No. <laughs> or maybe you guys feel that way, okay? Someone here is embodying this energy. But sometimes we can be like um, sexually attracted to that, right? Or it's magnetic or... Um, Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, so this can be a stable, committed relationship. It can also be a marriage, a celebration. Then we have the Four of Cups. This can be a missed opportunity. This can be disappointment. This can be boredom. It can be apathy. Like you're just not into it. You're not feeling it. Okay, so this is very up and down. There's some excitement here. And then there's like letdowns. Um, we have a stop and start energy too. Stop and go. Okay, we have the four of swords. Maybe um, take some time out. Don't rush into things. Make sure that you are taking the time to rest, heal, relax, to regain your stability. Um, clear your mind. Do things that clear your mind. Like, what activities do you have? Do you like to meditate? You know? We have the Two of Cups. So this is a relationship or a soulmate here. This is a connection. A significant connection in your life. And it's showing up right underneath the Nine of Cups. So... I feel like this is you guys either wishing or hoping or manifesting for a connection here. Let's see, what else? We have the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. But this energy is moving forward. 
you're healing, you're moving forward from something. Um, this energy could also be like you're moving. Some of you might be moving. Or um, the person who you're interested in is at a distance from you. Okay, let's get three more. Three more for Aquarius. <sighs> yeah, I'm just getting this stubborn, like, stuck energy, though. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. So Sixes are about victories. Um, the Swords specifically is about... Uh, moving forward into calmer waters here. The swords can also symbolize like communication. So you might be wanting to move things forward or communicate with someone in a calm manner. I'm getting that vibe. We have the page of swords though. So this is spying. This is wanting to talk to someone but not really saying anything. This is, could be stalking online, social media. It can also be like immature communication. So pages can be messages. Is somebody here like communicating in an immature manner? Okay, let's get one more for Aquarius. And then we'll move forward one more. Alright, Page of Wands. So, this is, um, like, inspiration. So, you guys are following your passion. You're feeling very passionate. There is a lot of wands in this reading. So, you're feeling feisty. You're feeling excited about life. You're going after your goals and what you want. So we have the death card at the bottom. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But your life is changing a lot right now. You're going through a lot of changes. Because death card symbolizes transformation. Okay. So let's pull some clarifiers. Alright, so this is for Aquarius, please, spirit guides. What are the most important messages when clarifying the spread here? We're going to start off with this Nine of Cups. So I am reading this as partying. Let's see what it says when I clarify it. Are you guys partying too much? Are you drinking too much? <laughs> are you guys wanting to avoid your issues with partying? We have the Fool card. So, yeah, it could be acting foolish, acting up. But fool card can also be like new beginnings. So you're excited here. You could be dealing with an Aries. Fool card is Aries. But with the nine of cups, I'm feeling like you guys are feeling like risky. Like you just want to go for it. You don't really care about whatever. You're in that type of energy. Why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? So we have the Hangman. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. But this is stuck energy. It can be in limbo. You're um, not sure what's going on. It can be self-undoing because Pisces is like almost like self-sabotage. Um, but it can also be like epiphanies, realizations, um, or being stuck until you realize something here. So I'm being drawn back to this like, you know, very arrogant, too much pride in the ego card. So if some of you are dealing with someone, and remember, this is clarifying the Queen of Wands here. There might be some sort of lesson or something that needs to be learned here with the hangman or realized before this pride and ego energy can be 
peeled or gotten rid of. And then this was at the bottom of the deck, remember, holding on to grudges and resentments. There's something that is from the past that's affecting, like, things moving forward here now or creating this attitude or dynamic of being, like, too prideful and arrogant. So you got to watch out for that. Four of Wands. Let's clarify Four of Wands. Clarify the Four of Wands. So, wow. We have the Ace of Cups. That is a brand new beginning in love, but with the Three of Cups. The, so this can symbolize, like, friendships. Um, the Three of Cups symbolizes, you know... A reuniting with someone from your past um, but with the with the four of wands so this can be this is definitely a love relationship here and yeah it's got to be a reunion it's very happy energy very new fresh and celebrating celebration here the four of wands I don't know that's really beautiful though so, well, Three of Cups can be a reuni reuniting with someone, but then Ace of Cups can be new, new love. So, those are kind of contradictory. But it could be, Ace of Cups could be like a renewal of that old love from the past. Or, if the Three of Cups is not a reunion with someone from the past, if the Ace of Cups is someone new, the Three of Cups can symbolize just... um celebration um partying with friends or it could be a friendship there was a friendship here that graduated into a higher commitment of love um maybe you need to maybe this is an advice from spirit that you need to be friends with the per person first before you elevate this into a before you fall in love and before you commit which I think is good for Aquarius people, actually. They say that they like to be friends first with the person that they're with or they're in love with. Okay. Clarify the Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. <sighs> Clarify the Four of Cups, please, for Aquarius. So we have the Four of Pentacles here with the Four of Cups. All right, so the Four of Cups is, you know, like boredom, apathy, not interested, not feeling it, okay? So this is I'm feeling someone from the past, and it was a missed opportunity here with the Four of Pentacles. Someone either didn't want to let go of the connection or they still want to hold on to you, actually. Yeah, this could be someone from the past who still stalks you, like with that page of swords underneath. And then with this, I don't want this relationship anymore. One of you walked away and didn't care. Okay, why is the four of swords here? Why is the four of swords here? Okay, wow, we have the empress. So, so Taurus or Libra, this is a... Divine Feminine, the Empress. So this could be, if this is you guys, if you are a um, Aquarius female, some of you could be pregnant. But this is saying to make sure to take your time and rest, heal, relax. Know your worth. Maintain your stability. Know your value. Alright, we have the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups. The Star card. Wow, that's your guys' card. Aquarius. Some of you are um, meeting an, another Aquarius. Four of Swords, again. So it's like after a period of resting or healing, 
to regain your stability. There's a wish manifested here about a relationship or a connection, a two of cups, okay, a soulmate, a new soulmate, a soulmate you wished for. We have the chariot card. Let's clarify the chariot. So this person could be at a distance from you with the chariot, could be a cancer. Clarify the chariot. Oh wow, we have the devil. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And then the three of wands. This is something that you've been waiting for. This is like, so the devil can symbolize toxicity or codependency. If there's a relationship that you're either moving away from, you know, you've been waiting for this, I feel like, with the Three of Wands for a while now. Waiting to move on and get rid of that energy out of your life. Okay. So, Six of Swords. The Tower. This is a sudden breakup or a shock. But this could be like, um, a, you're splitting up from someone and moving on, moving forward. Um... You're prioritizing your peace here, okay? Why is the Page of Swords here? 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 Is this someone spying? Page of Wands. I feel like it is. It's someone who's still from the past who you let go of, who still has passion for you, and they still watch you and what you do. It's kind of creepy. I think they still want you back. I think you guys don't want them back, though. I feel like that comes up in a lot of Aquarius readings that I do. I don't know why. All right, clarify the page of wands. You guys tell me in the comments. Do your exes just always want you back? <laughs> I feel like it's that refreshing renewal like energy that you guys bring Aquarius you guys always have that like you guys always have like a very refreshing energy to be around all right page of wands page of wands why is this ending here page of wands then we'll close out the reading high priestess could be dealing with the Pisces and the sun card Leo energy so you guys already know this. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. If you've been feeling trapped or stuck, there's definitely a realization or a breakthrough that things are going to come to light and you're going to get that spark and that passion back in your life and you're going to be very happy. Just make sure that you're following your intuition here with that High Priestess card. All right, well, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please hit the like button. Please hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.